हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडेज प्रोजेक्ट इज टू क्लासीफाई द थ्री कैटेगरीज ऑफ फ्लावर फ्रॉम द आयरिस डेटा सेट सो लेट्स जस्ट स्टार्ट बाय ओपनिंग द कोल ऐप एंड क्लिक ऑन द न्यू पाइथन थ्री नोटबुक फर्स्ट वी हैव टू इम्पोर्ट द लाइब्रेरीज नीडेड टू मैनिपुलेट द डेटा विच वी वुड बी गेटिंग इन सम टाइम दे जस्ट स्टार्ट बाई इम्पोर्टिंग नम पाए एंड इम्पोर्ट मैट प्लॉट लेप नेक्स्ट थिंग वी हैव टू इज हैव टू डू इज टू गेट द डेटा सो The data set can be downloaded from various sources. The one which we are using here is from SKLens library. So let's just import the data. Let's just import the data set into our data our data set variable. you can see that the data set is in the form of dictionary which the first index is description so we can just print the description here to see what the data set is about so here you can see the various attributes of the data set we can see that the the data sets have following attributes sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width all these values are in centimeter the data set is in divided into data sets data which contains the sepal length and petal set sepal length petal length and sepal width petal width and their target target contains their category so there are three categories of data so you can see that they are 0 1 2 the three categories of data and the four column representing their sepal and pet petal length breadths next thing we have to do is to scale the data as we can see that these are not the scale data so just before scaling let's just um, visualize the data so for the visualization we are going to use matplotlib so let's just try to plot so we are going to plot sepal length with We are going to scatter plot it with red color. Let's just see what happens. So you here you can see the plot, but this plot is not more insightful. So how can we make it more beautiful? So let's just first plot only the first category of data. Like you can see, this is. for the first category let's just name it so the first category is called here you can see the categories of data in the description section so the description says the first category of data is satosa so let's just name it let's just also plot the other three categories also so for the other two categories we have to set the y values to 
and two, but all are not named Satosa. The second category is called Varsi color. And the third category is called Virginica. They have just changed their colors. Satosa is in green. Versicola is in sorry. Satosa is in red. Versicola is in green, and Virginica is in blue. So we can clearly see their these three categories in the three colors but actually it's also not more insightful here you can see that the red that is satosa is linearly separable from the other two categories so but another thing we can do is we can plot the area of sepal and the area of petal for all these three categories to find the area we have to say what we have to multiply the length with breadth for the sepal and also multiply the area of sorry length of length and breadth of petals uh, Here you can also see that the uh, Satosa flowers are linearly separable from the other two categories. This thing is also written somewhere in the description also. Yeah, you can see that the latter are not linearly separable from each other. Uh, one class is linearly separable from the other two. The, that one class is Satosa flowers. So the next thing is to standardize the data so to standardize we are going to use standard scalar function of sklearn library so we have to first import it from sklearn dot we have to import standard scalar and using standard scalar we are going to standardize the x values and put it back in x variable now our x all these values are in standardized now we can use our machine learning algorithm to predict these three classes of flowers so before applying the machine learning we have we can just divide our whole data set into train and test cases to divide into train and test cases we have, we use train test split method so we have to first import it And now use it to strain it, split it into train and test cases. We have to pass x and y values, and it would be split it into train and test cases. Now we can use the uh, machine learning algorithm to build a model that can be used to classify this for, for three categories of flowers so here we are going to use logistic regression as our model as a machine learning model to classify these three categories of flowers so we have to first import sklearns logistic 
we have to first make an object of this logistic regression class so just make it and now we can use its fit method to train our machine learning model so it's very quick now our machine learning model is trained now we can use it to predict the accuracy how accurate our machine learning model is trained to check the accuracy we are going to use the score function where we have to pass the x and y values we are going to use the test we are going to use the test set to measure the accuracy of our model so here you can see that we got a 97% accuracy on the test set we can also do one thing we can we could also check the score on whole data set they just passed x and y so you can see that on whole data set we get accuracy of 96% so that's all for today please subscribe my channel and also follow my github account thank you for watching